I shouldn't be meeting you without my lawyer present. You're smarter than your lawyer. That's why I'm coming right to you. You think I can win, don't you? I think if you can make it look like your ambitious young protege conspired with an equally ambitious young alderman to take you down, that you might get a jury to sympathize. I'm glad you see it my way. I said sympathize, not win. But what you will definitely get is to exact your revenge on Carrie and Bobby, which is what you really want, isn't it? They destroyed my career, Miss Pearson. No, you destroyed your career when you decided to bury evidence and cheat innocent people. No wonder you look like hell. Guilt will do that. Look, if I had the chance to do it over, I might make some different choices. But putting 10 million into public schools instead of paying damages to a kid who skipped school to jump between train cars, I think that was a fair trade. And that sounds like a man who's still justifying his actions. Sounds a lot like you, doesn't it? Two powerful attorneys who cross lines to do what they thought was right. Only I don't have a mayor to bail me out. Oh, well, that's where you're wrong. Because your bail is set at a million dollars, and the city's willing to pay it. You know, uh, I spent my career convincing law students like Carrie that uh, it wasn't the money. It was the privilege to serve that would drive them. You lost that privilege, Mr. Sharma. Oh, I lost a lot more than that. I mean, look at me. I gave the city 20 years. 20 years. And now I'm nothing in it. Keep your money. Don't tell me. The mayor fired you, and you're coming back to New York. <laughs> Hardly. You took over, and you renamed the city Pearson. That's more like it. How are you, Jessica? I'm just fine, thank you very much. But I do need a favor. I can be on the first plane out. Save your miles for Tahiti. You can do this from right where you are. Good. I wasn't about to battle airport traffic. What do you need? <laughs> 